In today's episode, we unveiled Tesla's latest venture, Redwood EV, accompanied by a $500 million dojo supercomputer, while the anticipated arrival of the Tesla bot is closer than anticipated. The next generation electric vehicle from Tesla now bears the name Project Redwood, with plans for a summer 2025 release, as per an anonymous report from Reuters. Tesla has already begun the process by putting out a request for quotes to part suppliers back in 2023. The unnamed sources within Tesla claim that the new vehicle design is in the style of a compact crossover SUV, and the company is forecasting to begin production on their new $225,000 vehicle platform in June of 2025, with volume production likely to start in 2026. This timeline was confirmed by Elon Musk himself in a post-earnings call where the CEO stated that he expects to begin production of the next-generation EV at Tesla's Texas Gigafactory in the second half of 2025. He added, this isn't just Elon time we're talking about here. Musk said, I'm often optimistic regarding time, but our current schedule shows that we will start production towards the end of 2025. But Elon also did some foreshadowing that his new production ramp will not be easy, saying, We'll be sleeping on the line practically, recalling memories of the production health scenario around the release of Tesla's Model 3 platform. Production at Giga Texas will be followed by Giga Mexico and another factory outside of North America, likely Giga Berlin or Giga Shanghai, which will be decided later this year. However, Tesla has also expressed interest in building a new factory in India in a bid to lower costs further in their vehicle production, so that's another potential location for this new vehicle. This is reportedly aiming for a manufacturing rate of about 10,000 units per week once volume production begins. While a steep estimate for a brand new vehicle, the innovative design of the Redwood platform will hopefully reduce production setbacks and allow for higher goals to be reached. And 10,000 per week isn't too far off from the global production numbers set by the Model 3 last year. Tesla has been hyping this new platform since about 2020 and more explicitly since the Investor Day presentation back in March 2023 when the vehicle was officially confirmed alongside the new Gigafactory in Mexico. Described as an affordable, utilitarian option, Project Redwood draws design inspiration from the Model Y and the Cybertruck, presenting a futuristic appearance. More significantly, it marks Tesla's re-entry into the robo-taxi concept, designed exclusively as an autonomous ride-hailing service vehicle. Project Redwood is poised to revolutionize the EV market, offering a fully electric vehicle at a $25,000 price point, a feat challenging to achieve outside of Asia. BYD, a Chinese company, has recently emerged as the world's largest EV maker, driven by its lineup of highly affordable vehicles starting below $20,000. Tesla and Panasonic also recently partnered with Redwood to build a $3.5 billion battery materials plant in South Carolina, breaking ground for the project last week. While this is just speculation, the name connection could link the two projects together, and using a battery made with mostly recycled materials as a standard for this new vehicle could help to further control costs. This comes despite the loss of a couple of notable leaders of the project last month. New York State Governor Kathy Hochul announced the investment on January 26th, which was confirmed later that same day by CEO Elon Musk on X. Governor Hochul said that the new supercomputer installation would process millions of terabytes of data for FSD, which is what prompted Elon to make a small correction in his social media post. Musk is being careful here to note that the new Dojo hardware wouldn't be much more than a similar NVIDIA system that Tesla currently uses to run their AI cluster and will apparently be buying more of this year, along with some AMD chips to compensate for the slower rollout of the company's proprietary dojo systems.
Past events like the Investor Day presentation in March last year have shown that Tesla's work with their full self-driving system is being done in tandem with their development of the Dojo supercomputer. The new FSD software, which began rolling out in mid-January, is a learning system using video from Tesla vehicles to train the vehicle on how to handle road conditions rather than using hard coding. If you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? Back to the video. The Dojo supercomputer plays a crucial role in this process, efficiently sorting and training learning algorithms through simulations before distributing them across the network to Tesla vehicles. The installation of the new Dojo system not only creates more job opportunities for FSD technicians, but also enhances support for local beta testers. Although Tesla appears to be more cautious in promoting the new computer hardware compared to the unveiling event at AI Day in 2021, there was a sense that they were prepared to phase out their older NVIDIA hardware. The system's ability to train machine learning algorithms in a more compact, physical space was a significant selling point, and Tesla has gradually expanded their Dojo cluster in Palo Alto, California, throughout 2023. However, there are indications of challenges within the Dojo team, particularly with the departure of project lead Ganesh Vamanan in December, leading to Tesla's executive director, Peter Bannon, taking charge. This development may have influenced Elon Musk's characterization of Dojo as a long shot during the earnings call shortly before the announcement by the New York governor. Check out our weekly newsletter for more news on Tesla, link in the description. My number one goal has always been to help you learn something new about the technology that is changing our world. You don't have to be an expert to watch the Tesla space. I'm certainly not an expert myself and I'm learning right along with you. So, I'm constantly in search of free and easy methods to learn more about how science and technology affect the world around us and shape our future. And the best way for me personally to learn new things is by doing hands-on activities, which is why I'm inviting you to give Brilliant a shot to try everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days. Visit brilliant.org slash Tesla space or click on the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Smash the like button if you are enjoying the video so far. Tesla is aiming to ship a few of the new Optimus units in 2025 on the heels of a new promotional video of the robot folding close during Tesla's earnings call made on January 24th. A very optimistic new target for the potential production launch of Optimus, the Tesla robot, was mentioned by CEO Elon Musk. He said that he believes the company has a good chance of shipping some number of Optimus units next year. However, it seems that even other Tesla executives are concerned with what Optimus is currently capable of. In order for buyers to be interested in the product, another Tesla executive in the call commented that currently the bot is in testing and there's a barrier to get over in terms of getting Optimus to actually do anything useful, which is fair enough. Even Elon admitted that the robot cannot perform tasks such as folding the laundry autonomously yet. However, Optimus has made giant strides forward in the tasks it is able to perform in such a short amount of time from September 2022 to December of last year. This process enables Optimus to autonomously perform these tasks and assess whether the current production models possess the necessary dexterity. Part of that dexterity needed for smaller, more delicate tasks comes from the new tactile sensors in the fingertips and better motor control with in-house actuators, both of which were showcased in the December update video that prompted Elon to predict that Optimus would be able to thread a needle by next year. In addition to its domestic applications, Tesla aims to harness this enhanced performance in its car manufacturing line, utilizing Optimus for hazardous or repetitive tasks that are challenging for humans. The ability of the Tesla bot 
to handle an adequate number of these tasks by next year relies entirely on the capabilities of the Optimus engineering team and their ability to sustain this momentum until then. See you in the next one on Tesla Global.